we just came back from being down there, if I remember correctly, and we found the bodies down there. We don't know where Lillian is located. Rudy was last seen walking out. Um, okay, so my theory is we have a broken case, um, glass case that's on Henry Dijon's desk. That's the colonel. I have a feeling that Rudy... So if, the Henry, if Henry, the colonel, is the killer, as I suspect, he would not have broken the glass case to get to the Derringer. Reason being is because he would have the key. I ended up realizing that, like, a few days after I had last played it. Which means, I think Rudy, who was sitting outside, actually has the gun. And I think he's keeping it on him for protection. I wonder if Celie's dead yet. Everyone else seems to be dying. The, received no answer. Oh no, Celie! Look in window. Can't make out any details. I think Lillian and Henry were, have been working together. And I think that's why Lillian was having a fight with the Colonel. Oh, there's Rudy. Where are you going? I also think he might be just pacing. And part of the reason why I think Lillian is involved is because someone would have had to have been moving the bodies, and I don't think the colonel is strong enough. Sela never hurt nobody. <laughs> Seriously. <clears throat> we need to find Rudy. I think Rudy's going to do something stupid. One thirty, and she's in here. We have a visitor, darling. Sit up straight now. Talk to Lillian. Our visitor's talking to us. Pay attention now. Ask about the murders. Lillian's caught up in some fantasy world with those dolls. She's not listening to you. Ask about Henry. Look, dolls. Dolls look like they've been hanging around here for a long time. You wonder who used to, they used to belong to. Rockabye baby. She has many, many mental issues. Ask about the gun. Look, broken record. Look at record with monocle. Squinting at the monocle, you carefully examine the piece of broken record. Closely situated to each other, you notice two different fingerprints. One of them is probably Gloria's when she was probably using it to attack or something. I don't know why she would have used it. Look, Lillian. Lillian is acting very bizarre. Not only she's playing with the old dolls, but she's treating them as if they were alive. She barely notices you. Slap Lillian. You don't have a violent nature. Show rolling pin. What are the items you have? I have a monocle. Here they are, honey. Monocle, lantern, oil can, rolling pin, poker. So the monocle belonged to 
one of the victims and is basically being used like a magnifying glass. The lantern we already used to light our way through a cavern where we found a pile of bodies. So we know where all the bodies are coming from. And it looks like the chute that they're coming from is probably in the attic. Wait a minute. What is the chalkboard? See a small chalkboard on the wall. Strange there are seven tally marks on it. How many people have died? Ask about chalkboard. Look chalk. See a small, get chalk. Chalkboard is attached to the playhouse wall. You can't take it. Hold on. So I was smart last time and on my phone I took a screenshot or I took a picture of the instruction manual, which has all the characters on it. I don't know if you can see it. Um, Rudy's still alive. Clarence died, so that's one. Wilbur's dead. Jeeves and Fifi are dead. Ethel's dead. Gertrude and Gloria, that's seven. Should read the notebook with your monocle and be all official? What? No. <laughs> read notebook with monocle. You open your notebook and skim through your many notes and observations. She just has it. Well, no, I think Lillian's involved. I think Lillian and Henry are doing it. The reason why I think Henry's there is because we've literally been in his bedroom and his wheelchair was there with no one in it. And the elevator was gone. I don't think he's officially wounded. I think he faked it. The elevator's open as it usually is. Oh, too fast. Celie's in her bedroom, or in her house. It's 1.30 in the morning, and the only two people really wandering around is, uh... <laughs> is you, Laura Bow, Rudy, and Lillian is talking to a bunch of dolls. <clears throat> Look at glass with monocle. Picking up the glass, you use Wilbur's monocle as a magnifying glass and notice a faint fingerprint. Look at record with monocle. Can you actually compare these fingerprints and like figure out exactly who's involved with what? What time is it? It's one thirty in the morning. Give Cracker to Parrot. Ock, sleep tight, my pretties. Ock, in the basement, in the basement. Yeah. I already know that, though. Is this after Sierra was, uh... Yeah, this is after Sierra, like, stopped giving points for doing things. Unless it gives it to you at the end of the game. Get glass. So that has Wilbur's fingerprint on it, though. Not that we need it. Look table. Look pool table. It's quite an old billiard table. It's quite dirty. In it, you see three balls, two red and one white. Look up balls with monocle. See three balls on the billiard table, two red and one white. I feel like that's supposed to mean something, but I never, I haven't figured out what it's supposed to mean. 
Where is Seely? Seely's in her house. There's a house in the back area that she's in. I need to find Rudy and I need to tell him about Henry and Lillian. I need to talk to Rudy. That's who the one person is that's safe that we're safe with. Look for Rudy. You'll have to do that yourself. Why would Lillian invite her friend if she's just gonna, if she was just gonna kill everyone? I don't think she necessarily intended to kill everyone. Why would she have invited Laura Bow if she had, if her intent, like, I don't think she came here with the intention. I think Henry started it, and she was kind of roped into it with her uncle. Unless her uncle is able to hypnotize her somehow. Are there any secret passages? Uh, we found one secret passage. Yeah, in the garden. It was an underground tunnel that led off to a walled off part of the basement where all the bodies have been stashed. This is what we keep seeing. Looks like a wisp, a wisp of mist from the bayou. Look at where Ghost is pointing. Said among the various family graves and monuments, you notice two large tombs. Seely's in the chapel. What if Seely's using voodoo on, uh... Look at Seely. Seely sits in a pew before the pulpit, her head bent in fearful prayer. Tell Seely about murders. Seely's not listening to you. She's visibly frightened and deep in prayer. Tell Seely about dolls. Talk to Seely. What are you doing here, girl? Something mighty terrible has happened. Evil spirits is all around us. I think we're a... Uh gonna die before this night is over. Tell Seely about wheelchair. Tell Seely about Rudy. Ask about Rudy? Damn it. Kill Seely with rolling pin. <laughs> There's no need for that sort of thing. Pray to smoke at you? Let him know, honey. Seely, why you leave the house? That's what I was thinking. You were safe, woman. <laughs> why you do this to yourself, Seely? <laughs> Push Bell. Look at Bell. Wailing the rusted bell may have loosened it. I'm dead. I still haven't figured out what to do with the bell. I mean, you can loosen the bell. I did loosen the bell. I oiled it. Grand Stairway leads upstairs. You have to pull that string and I don't have anything to reach to it. You don't have like a hook or anything? Mm-mm. What do you have? I know that there's a cane in the game because I've seen that in a, a gif before. I have no idea where the cane is. Are you open that? No. I'll find it if I find it. It might be upstairs. 
look under stairs. See nothing of interest under the stairs. One of the other characters might have had a cane and I just didn't notice it and I bypassed it. There are things that can be missed in the game if you don't search the bodies. Open door. Nothing. Oh, there we go. That's what you get for being such a snoop, Laura. <laughs> To be fair, I knew it was possible to die there. I just don't know what causes it to happen. I don't know if it's random. Open door. But I was also wondering if anything... Yeah, see, it's random, I think. <laughs> I just don't know if something eventually appears in there. Look under bed. It's only the floor under the bed. Look under rug. Fifi's very clean. There's no dirt under her rug. The one thing that doesn't... Wait. Actually, hold on. Look at phonograph. What is it called? A Victrola. Look at Victrola. See a Victrola in the back corner of the room. Look at record on Victrola. Oh. Find secret passage. You'll have to do that yourself. <laughs> it's worth a shot. Can't I just go into people's suitcases? There's literally a bunch of suitcases here, and everyone who brought them is dead. You know, I never looked at the blood. I don't know if it would do anything. Just a monocle. Look at blood. You see a fresh blood stain on the rug near the overturned chair. Look at blood with monocle. See a fresh blood stain. Wait, knowing what I know now, hold on. I want to read the notebook again. Read notebook. You notice that just one page has been written on today's date. Curiously, read the rest. It says, I'm terribly apprehensive about what's going on here. Can't say why, just call it a bad sensation. But as the evening wears on, I'm feeling more and more alone. Where's Wilbur? Where's Gertie? Where's Gloria? Could they have left without me? So Clarence didn't do anything. Is there a way to leave the island that I'm not aware of? Still, the spine-tingling feeling won't leave me, and frankly, I'm scared. The game is making you think that Rudy's the one doing it, and it's not Rudy. There he is. Rudy appears to be frantically searching for something in your room. He seems very, very upset. Talk to Rudy. Be the kid. This. Tell about Lillian. Tell about chalkboard. Rudy's not paying any attention. He's too busy looking for something else. What would he be looking for? Show Hanky to Rudy. Ask about gun. What is he looking for? Look under couch. Nothing of interest under the couch. Use the blood as a lipstick. The elevator's gone again. What's in those cabinets? Which cabinets? The ones on either side of the main hall there. I've already tried looking and can't find anything in them. Lift bed. Pull blinds. Broken shutters may mar the elegant French windows. Can't like knock it over. Pull chair. Can't do that. Move chair. Can't do that. Well, the doctor's bag went missing. Wait, 
The elevator is... Okay, elevator's up the top floor. Elevator's at the first floor. Top floor, first floor. Can I find Rudy in any of the other bedrooms, I wonder? Can you not pull the cabinet or look inside? Which cabinet? Look in cabinet. Nothing important. Look in cabinet. Nothing important. Because this area doesn't make sense. Honey, Sierra games are filled with things for theming. The house wouldn't make sense if there was no hallway. It doesn't mean there always is something in every single room. She's probably going to die if I do that. Because there's a black mark in his room under that. Well, on the armor, surprise, you find that the whole armor opens to reveal a secret door. There's a hallway in his room. You can see it. You found a small hidden room in the house. There's literally a hallway. Look, floor. Someone dropped an old cigar butt on the floor. This is how he's been getting around. The portraits. He's been looking through the portraits. What picture? You don't see any pictures. Look through picture. Wait a minute. That's a secret passage right there. Open door. Secret panel closes behind you and leaves no trace. Open secret passage. Can't do that. You can see the hallway in the other room. I couldn't see that. Hold on. Where? The wall that's at the bottom? Yeah. Yeah, I know. That's not in any of the other rooms. Oh, I didn't catch that. However, the elevator's here. Actually, you know what? Hold on. This will probably still be here. Get cigar. Bend over and pick up the small cigar butt. Look cigar with monocle. Examine it with the monocle, but don't see anything interesting. Look cigar. That was this faint smell of cigar smoke that we smelled. We found a small hidden room in the house. Look through painting. Look at wall. Upon examining the walls of the secret chamber, you notice two close set holes in each of the two opposing walls. You can also see two secret panels, one on each wall. Look through holes. There's nothing of interest in Gertie and Gloria's room. This is why you play it more than once, because you can probably see things that they're doing. There's nothing of interest in the Colonel's room. Open panel. Look under bed. There's only dust under the bed. This cabinet probably is the other one. For the other side in the other rooms. Pull on the armor. Surprise, you find what the whole armor opens to reveal a secret door. Found a small hidden room in the house. 
Look, floor. Notice a dusty boot print in the floor. Someone has left an old cane behind. Look, boot print with monocle. Examine it with a monocle. Look, look, print. Look, ugh. Look, floor. Look, floor with monocle. Get cane. Look, cane. Look, cane. Look, cane with monocle. Examine it with a monocle, but don't see anything interesting. Look through holes. Nothing of interest in your room. Look through holes. I love that. It's nothing of interest in the. It's because we took too long. So everyone's dead. We probably could have saved most of everyone. Open panel. Secret panel closes behind you and leaves no trace. Can I pull the bell down now? <clears throat> Save. Look under doormat. There's nothing under the doormat. Move doormat. I wouldn't want to carry that thing around. Oh, Laura Bow. The next Laura Bow game is a lot more grotesque and gets a lot more uh, grotesque visuals for the deaths. But that one's in full glorious VGA color. Not like this one. <laughs> Use cane. With, is it a hook? Try to look bell. Use cane with hook. Use cane with hoop. Look hoop. Look circle thing. <laughs> Are you really gonna pull the bell down with her under it? See a rusted iron bell at the top of an old bell tower. Rope dangles a short distance beneath the bell. While a ladder runs up the tower side, behind a weathered fence, you also notice the remnants of the old plantation's field. Use cane on rope. Pull rope with cane. Reaching up with a cane. Yes! <laughs> now you're a real southern pal. <laughs> Pull on rope with cane. You're not close enough. Ah. I'm due from here. Phew, that was close. Look, bell. What's that attached to the bell? It's some sort of old metal crank. Get okay, crank. I know where to use this. Get the crank. If you think it might be useful, you remove the crank from the bell and take it with you. Look crank. Look at end of crank. Oh, whatever. We know where to use this. Hi, Bornin. Who are we going to play that one? Which one? Oh, Amon Ra? Yeah, the, I will be playing Amon Ra at some point. And I'm not going to wait for forever because I know I want to finish this one. And I do want to play that one. There's, um, I know it doesn't play the same. And a lot of people say it doesn't have the same experience. But at the same time, there's been enough people that have stopped in. They say they like that one more than this one. I'm probably going to like this one more than that one. Just because I have a lot more fondness for the, the typing Sierra adventure games. But uh, 
I have a feeling I'll enjoy that one still. I'm not gonna pray to Smokuchi. The game doesn't know who Smokuchi is. Use Lantern. Light Lantern. It's already lit. Look at the dinosaur bones. Look at dinosaur bones. What bones? You don't see the bones. <laughs> I love how they just stuck the dinosaur bones there. Look, floor. It's nothing but dirt on the ground. <clears throat> For anyone who hasn't seen it, here are the bodies! Use crank on plate. Put crank in hole. With some effort, you're able to insert the crank into the hole of the small metal plate. It fits perfectly. Turn crank. As you slowly turn the crank, a secret panel opens to another passage. Are you looking up how to beat this game? No. Okay. <laughs> be very upset at you if you were doing that. You've come upon some stairs leading upward. You wonder where they might lead. <gasps> oh, I bet this is the Crouton Tomb. You've entered a cold, dark tomb. From moonlight shining in through a stained glass window, you can make out four vaults in the f in the wall and a stone sarcophagus on the floor. Each vault has a nameplate above it. The tomb door is barred on this side. <sighs> Look, uh, wall plate. Nameplate reads Mary Frances Crouton. Look, tomb. Look, Ruby. The vault door is not open. Look, plate. The nameplate reads C Ruby Crouton. Look, plate. The name reads Thomas S. Crouton. Okay. Look, plate. The nameplate reads Claude Crouton. I'm wondering if there's a book of family history or something in the library. Look, window. Those are lovely stained glass windows. Tomb door is barred shut. Open door. Tomb door. Uh, open door with crowbar. Use crowbar. Use crowbar to open door. I think I need to open up the wall plates. Open tomb with crowbar. What about rubies? Ruby's the only one that has a name on it. Look at Ruby with monocle. Can't do that, the vault door is not open. Open vault door with crowbar. You insert the crowbar into the small opening between the vault door and the tomb wall. You then pull with all your might. With a loud crack, the door pops open. Look in hole. Look in tomb? Look in ruby tomb. The hell is this? Is it a pouch? A leather pouch. <laughs> Remove the leather pouch. Take the bunny. From the vault and take it with you. Look in leather pouch. You open the leather pouch and peer inside. It's full of precious jewels. Carefully you close it again so as not to lose any. Look in... Tomb. Look plate.
open tomb with crowbar. Can't do that. I still have the crowbar, right? Yeah. Tomb door with crowbar. Use lantern on tomb. Can't, you don't have it. Get lantern. Use lantern. Light up room with lantern. My fucking god. Look tomb. Look nameplate. Claude. Open Claude with crowbar. Open tomb with crowbar. What did you miss? You almost burned your roasted veggies? I'm sorry. Use gems on donation box and church. Doc, doc, honey. <laughs> Where's this leather pouch? Where's... <coughs> it's just called pouch. <coughs> Can I show this to Seely? Look, Tim. Open vault with crowbar. Insert the crowbar into the small opening to feed the vault door on the tomb wall. Well, we're cursed for life. We just desecrated a body. Look at the skeleton. <laughs> What a revolting sight. You want nothing to do with that old skeleton. Open. <laughs> Fault with crowbar. I have a feeling she's gonna kill herself by pulling that coffin out. We're gonna do that. Open vault with... <laughs> she has no chill anymore. <laughs> she's all like, let me desecrate this entire family tomb. Look in vault. Uh, there's a skeleton in there. Search skeleton. Try another way to say that. Look under skeleton. Pull. Skeleton. Save. I think we hit our limit. I didn't even know there could be a limit. Touch his bone. Touch skeleton. That is not clear. Stroke the bone. <laughs> Look coffin. The badly deteriorated casket is riddled with wormholes. Pull casket. Can't do that. Open casket. Have respect for the dead, Lara. No, we already have it. But Ru- okay, so Ruby's body isn't in there, but gems were in there. Pry- Open tomb. Open door. Unlock door? You grab the bar holding the door shut and carefully raise it. Now the door is free. Give pouch to ghost. Get no reaction. Hey, ghost. Seely, are you dead? Act eight. Show pouch to Seely. Oh my fucking god, Seely. Throw gems at Seely. <laughs> <laughs> that wouldn't accomplish anything. She's doing her best. Pray She's with Seely. Suddenly feeling pious, you kneel at the pulpit and pray. Wait, really? I was joking. Sit. Don't feel like sitting around. 
Rudy, I've got gems for you. Maybe that's what he's looking for. Rudy want the ruby. Rudy want the ruby? Come get it, Laura says as she puts it up her we're not going there. <laughs> we know he's inside. Yeah, I th I think this could have been done earlier on. And I've taken so long that we're in the final stages of just everyone's going to die. Up. Ah. The elevator's down there. It makes me wonder if Henry's, Henry's on the move. Use key to unlock... Elevator. Up. Oh. I don't know how it keeps getting locked. There has to be a shoot up here or something that I, I thought I saw. I thought I saw a shoot over here, but I guess not. Maybe I didn't explore the attic as fully as I thought. I have a cane. Hold on. Out of curiosity, the newspaper again. Read newspaper. Uh, following the injuries in the recent Spanish-American War, he took several bullets to his pelvic and shoulder areas as he attempted to carry a seriously injured fellow soldier to safety. <clears throat> Incredibly, though injured, he managed to make it safely behind American lines. He was duly decorated discharged with honor by the U.S. Army. He was never paralyzed. Not by those wounds. So where is the laundry chute? Laundry chutes are usually in a living room or dining room. Or the kitchen. Unlock. Door. Wait. Look in trunk. Uh, must be where the colonel kept his old army gear. And the hat is missing. The hat, the coat, the boots are all missing. Pull cabinet. Can't do that. Wouldn't the laundry chute have been in the bathroom? Not necessarily, uh, because you would dispose of dirty linens in like, the dining room and the kitchen. Not necessarily in the room otherwise, but... Because I haven't found an actual laundry chute yet. Based upon where it's from... Over here? There's more secret passages down here that I didn't find. Hold on. The clock and the mirror. Whole clock. Pull the grandfather clock and to your surprise find the whole clock opens to reveal a secret door. Look through holes. Nothing of interest in the library. Yeah, this is where you get the entire story, is by watching everyone. So every time the clock ends up changing, everyone moves to a different area. I already figured that out. But this is how you know where to check where everyone is and what's going on and what's happening. And I think you can hear all their conversations. Pull mirror. Push on the oval mirror and to your astonishment find that the mirror opens to reveal a secret door. Does this look into the dining room? <clears throat> yeah, it's the dining room. It's not the kitchen. But why? Oh, wow. See, see the circle? Hi, Carl. 
49 months. Wow. Thank you for the resub. Thank you. It's really sweet. Also, hi and welcome. Open door. Yeah, I don't know where the actual um, laundry chute is. There's a laundry chute in the dining room. You can see it. Where? It's on the wall. What wall? Stop being angry. You're such a dork. Oh, right here? Yes. There's a handle. Look, shoot. All you see is a little door. Look, door. Notice a small door below the wall light. Open door. It appears to be a shoot of some kind. You wonder where it goes to. Go and shoot. Aye! What's directly above that? Heaven. That's what's directly above it. <laughs> you weren't here to help me put two and two together. I've been doing it on my own, and then now you want to be involved. Wow. Well, I mean, what's directly above that? Whose room is that? It's not. It's the basement just below it. No. Above it. The dining room isn't on the second floor. That's this Lillian's room. Is there a shoot in Lillian's room? I don't know. I'll have to look. Pull a mirror. Look door. You notice know small door. Open door. I mean, I've already. F I, I'm pretty sure it's Lillian and the and Henry that are doing it. Closed door. Let me go and see if there's one in Lillian's room. Is the same as Laura's room. Don't oh my fucking god me. Why does Lillian? Because they're guest rooms. The Colonel is the only one that lives here. He invited every one of his family members over for a dinner <laughs> to tell them what the inheritance was going to be. But then he said that the inheritance would be split equally and redivvied if anyone died before he died. There it is. Look, door. See a set of three small pictures. You notice a small door on the wall. Open door. Appears to be a shoot of some kind. You wonder where it goes to. Close shoot. I wonder if I had done that when Rudy was here, if he would have, like, if something, he would have said something. I know the shoots are for the bodies. I already told that. We already discovered that last time we played. Little cabinet. I don't think it's anything. It looks like it's on the wall. Problem is, we don't know where Rudy is. <clears throat> I would say just leave. <clears throat> leave just be all like i'm done with the murder house <clears throat> you can't why you're on an island in the middle of the bayou you leave anyway there's no boats what's out the front door then? does it just go to like a car drive the car and show cigar to colonel what do i care about my old cigar butts show pouch oh he said my old cigar butts <laughs> Show cane. You shouldn't have my cane. Show pouch. I could care less. Show gems. You've already shown me that. Show hank hanky. I ain't nothing I care about. Show notebook. Tell about Lillian. Oh, uh, tell about wheelchair. We've caught you, old man. Think that interests me? Tell about attic. Tell about key. Show key. I want to look at it. I'm like trying to show up every incriminating piece of evidence. Show rolling pin. So, kill Colonel. That's not how you spell Colonel. Kill Henry. Now, now, there's no need for that. Hit Henry. 
don't have a violent nature. <clears throat> Give cracker to Henry. <laughs> I don't care about it. Look, poker. Did I ever do anything with a poker? <coughs> monocle it. Use monocle. Uh -huh. Look at poker with monocle. Examine the entire fireplace poker with a monocle. Oh, oh, there are traces of blood on it. It's a murder weapon. Murder weapon. Gonna use your elevator. Open gate. Stay out of my elevator. What do you can do? Run up and can, like stop me. You can leave. No. No. Okay. I reloaded that way. I'm not showing him all the incriminating evidence. Look at poker with monocle. <clears throat> oh my word. No, go back down. Lillian! I mean, Laura. God. Can we find Rudy, like, drinking his sorrows away or something? Or is he just angry and stalking around with a gun? <clears throat> is he angrily stalking around with a gun looking for Lillian? Will you get a new Mon? What? A new what? Pokemon. Oh, Pokemon. Just playing the Pokemon community game. I still haven't found anything in that garden yet. Why is my phone vibrating? Why are your parental units probably texting us? Because that's probably what that is. Hmm. Is Lillian still in here? Can you guys not kill Seely? Look chair. Look seat. Look doll. Pick up doll. Get doll. It doesn't belong to us, but maybe it'll protect us from our crazy friend. Look swing. Broken swing hangs from a nearby oak. <clears throat> Can Seely not be dead? I like Seely. No ghost yet? Show gems to ghost. Get no reaction. Show pouch. Sh Yo! <clears throat> Celie's not here. God fucking damn it, she's dead somewhere, isn't she? Rudy probably killed her. What did you say? So the other way to see if there's a secret passageway is the front door? Yeah, but what? Not in this. How? I don't know. When you go off the back there, you see the garden. Yeah. It's a statue of the colonel. Look, statue. Pull statue. Push statue. 
Look sword. Look statue sword. Look statue. <clears throat> oh, I realize this is the hint. The hat. The hat on the statue. Look hat on statue. See nothing special except it's the same hat that the murderer has been wearing. <laughs> Do you ever think Henry is going to be all like, oh shit, I killed too many people. Who's going to clean up after me now? <clears throat> like, what was his motive for killing the maid and the, uh, the butler? I don't know if he killed the maid and the butler. Take gun. I can't take the gun. The gun's gone. <clears throat> oh, I thought that was a sword. Knock. Are you back home? I ain't unlocking this here door. Thank God, Celia. Stay put. Don't die. <laughs> like fucking hell. <laughs> Where's Beauregard? Look, doghouse. It's a large dog house outside. Where's Beauregard? Look, dish. Dog dish is empty. Look in dog house. It's empty. <clears throat> Open door. Cellar door is unlocked. Is locked. Beauregard is probably dead. Why would Beauregard be killed at this point? Why would Beauregard the dog be ever murdered? Turn crank. No one has anything against Beauregard. Still feel like look in bucket. Leaky oak in bucket, it barely holds any water. Knock on the front door and pretend to be the pizza guy. Look in bucket. Reach into bucket. It's not clear. Take bucket. Take bucket. Bucket belongs to the well. I feel like this is a callback to King's Quest 1. The music. Wait a minute, Henry's in his room. Beauregard! Look at dog. Beauregard seems agitated about something. Maybe you should investigate. Pet dog. Look at wall. Look, oh, look at door. Note has been attached to the locker. Look note. You read the note, it says, meet me in the hedge garden. Oh no, a sudden gust of wind blows away the note. I like how Laura can't, like, tell anyone anything. Did Timmy fall down the well? <clears throat> Investigate dog. What is he doing? I have a feeling that, um... <clears throat> the note might have been left by Rudy. Oh, it's this over here. The one where I left the secret passage. <clears throat> Who 
Who's that? That's not Rudy. Someone has shot Lillian to death in the hedge garden. Quite afraid now. You fear greatly for your own life. I mean, she was crazy. Do you have a gun of your own? You notice the silver derringer lying on the ground near Lillian's feet. Get gun. Stoop to pick up the derringer. Your eye happens to fall upon a bu bullet not far from Lillian's hand. Grab bullet. You're not close enough. Get bullet. Okay. Load gun. Okay, shoot self. No! <laughs> Search body. With trembling hands, you examine Lillian's body and see the horrible gunshot wound to her chest area. What's this? You suddenly find a skeleton key in a pocket of the old army cape. Since it may be useful, you take it with you. What has been locked that we haven't been able to get into? <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> <clears throat> the only thing I can think of is the butler's um, room. Load. I already loaded the gun, right? Yeah. It's gonna give me an option: shoot Rudy or the Colonel. And you're gonna. I'm gonna shoot the Colonel. But. Laura Bow doesn't have a violent nature in her body. I think I'm going to have to just give the gun to Rudy. Look at Derringer. Look at gun. Look at gun with monocle. Don't see anything interesting. <clears throat> Wait. You're scuffling upstairs. They're gonna be scuffling for a while. Hold on, let's restore. Because if that set off a timer... The only place I can think of going... That I would need the skeleton key for... Is here. Look, skeleton key. Look at skeleton key with monocle. The cellar has been is Jeeves' bedroom. Unlock door. Unlock. Use skeleton key on door. Unlock cellar with skeleton key. You don't have the key. Just go inside. Is that Beauregard barking? You're scuffling upstairs. <clears throat> Where's Beauregard? I feel like I need Beauregard. Let's see if we can get the dog. Let dog in. Open door for dog. Hold door open. Fucking hell. Look under mat. No, I'm trying to get Beauregard inside. But the problem is Beauregard might actually end up like defending Henry since that's who he's with. It's not like he's gonna innocent like immediately if you're scuffling. Did it say further upstairs? Yes. The key opens the attic. They're fighting in the attic. Unlock door. Open door. Oh no, Colonel Dijon and Rudy are in the midst of a fierce struggle. You see a hypodermic needle between them, and it's impossible to tell which of the two men is the aggressor. This is indeed a dangerous situation. Point gun. Use gun. Hold gun. Talk? Shoot, Colonel. He's 
dead. You've shot and killed Colonel Dijon. Thanks, kid. You saved my life. That old coot lured me up here, and when I wasn't looking, he tried to stick me with a hypodermic needle from Dr. Field's bag. I knew it. I knew it was the Colonel. I mean, he was sitting there and walking the entire time right there. I hate to think of what was in it, but without you coming along, I might be dead now, just like the others. We're gonna reload it and kill Rudy. Did you know about the others? Well, let me tell you about it. I found out that my uncle lured us all here so he could kill us. He never had any intention of leaving his money to any of us at all. Well, he only wanted to get rid of us. He's been sneaking around here all night and one by one he's been murdering everyone. I figured that one out. He had us all fooled, let me tell you. He was in a lot better shape than we all thought. Well, it's a shame about everyone else, but at least you and I are still alive. I'm sure this might be real traumatic for you. You go on home in the morning, I'll stay on here a couple more days to tend to things. If you will, I'd like you to contact the authorities in New Orleans and let them know what happened here tonight. Shoot, Rudy. Thanks again, kid. <laughs> the next morning, everyone's dead. Everyone except Rudy. <laughs> I'm wondering how many of them you could save. Later that same day, Ah, yes. Steamboat. As you near the wharf at New Orleans, you consider last night's events. Was Rudy telling you the truth, or could they bring more to the story? Oh well, you'll probably never know. Best to forget it and go on with your life. Maybe the police will find the answers. Poor Lillian. Poor everybody. Who killed who, though? Um, I don't see why the colonel would have... Yeah, barely. Let's see. Absent my amateur gumshoe. Holy crap. Hey, I got de pretty decent for the first time. Would you like to review your notes? Yes. <clears throat> Open. Uh, person befriended. Seely. <laughs> the only person we befriended. Took food item from the kitchen. Seely's cabin and Jeeves's room. Took useful item from bodies of Lillian Clarence Sparrow, Dr. Wilbur C. Fields. People found murdered. Everyone. <laughs> found secret entrance exit in. That's a lot. Objects used more than once. Crackers, oil can, monocle. Incomplete. Took object from the suitcase of... I never got into a suitcase. Valuable object taken. Pouch of jewels. Religious article cut discovered. Incomplete. Items requiring close... So I found a lot of stuff. There is something I didn't do there. People with gambling habits. So someone else has a gambling habit. People guilty of embezzlement. Clarence is guilty of embezzlement. I don't even remember finding that information. People with a telltale scent. Sniff, sniff. Person refusing to sell something. People romantically involved. Colonel Dijon Jeeves Fifi and incomplete. Person wishing to end an affair. Incomplete. Has embarrassing medical history. Incomplete. <laughs> Objects which change location. The Derringer, the da Dagger, Cognac Decanter. And we don't know. Ultimate location of most bodies. Basement. <laughs> People who struggled physically. Person with surprising secret. Yeah, it's because we didn't find any of those secrets. People who use secret passages. One who murdered the most people. Time of first visit to the attic, 9.45. We did get in there pretty early. Nice. Some portions of your notes are rather scanty. You can replay the game to gain additional information. Examine the hallways very closely. Monocle resemble yeah, I already know that. Visit the attic often and as early as possible. There's more to the chapel than meets the eye. That's what I didn't find out was about the chapel. And I thought I had examined it pretty closely. The one thing I noticed was that the candles seemed to get lit at one point, and they sort of stayed lit all night long. 
So we're going to quit only because we will end up playing it again. I am very curious about more. We will see more of um, the Colonel's Bequest. It's, it's really, really good. I like it a lot.